The 1700s in the Ottoman Empire marked a time of reform, adaptation, and recurring conflict with European powers, most notably Russia. The empire, which had previously focused heavily on outward expansion, was now faced with resolving internal issues and defending its possessions from new expansionist powers. New allies, new enemies, and new challenges confronted the Ottoman sultans throughout the century. The roots of many challenges faced by the Ottomans during this century can be traced back to earlier periods. Following the Mongol invasion of Baghdad in 1258, much of the scientific knowledge in the Islamic world was lost, leading to a decline in scientific and technological advancements. As Europe began to flourish during the Renaissance, fueled by the translation of Islamic works into Latin, the Ottoman Empire found itself increasingly focused on religious education at the expense of scientific progress. Additionally, the economic impact of new trade routes established during the Age of Exploration weakened the empire economically, setting the stage for the internal and external struggles of the 18th century. As the 18th century began, Mustafa II held the Ottoman throne. To kick off this new century, Sultan Mustafa signed the Treaty of Constantinople on July 13, 1700, ending the Russo-Turkish War of 1686. The treaty granted Azov to Russia, but promised 30 years of peace between the two empires. Unfortunately, Sultan Mustafa was unable to enjoy this harmony for long. In 1703, the Edirn event unfolded, a significant rebellion sparked by the angered Janissary Corps. The Janissaries were discontented with Mustafa's choice to return to Edirn, not Constantinople, after signing the Treaty of Karlowitz and the Treaty of Constantinople with the Holy League. Adding to their dissatisfaction was the Sultan's decision to delegate much of his political and administrative power to Faizullah Effendi, a figure the Janissaries found corrupt and overbearing. The final straw came when the Ottomans decided to intervene in the civil war in Georgia, requiring the deployment of the Janissaries. Already unpaid and unhappy, the Janissaries began to protest in Constantinople. These protests quickly escalated into riots joined by civilians and other soldiers. When Faizullah Effendi ordered the arrest of the rebel representatives, the situation worsened. The rioters turned their sights on Edirn. Mustafa II Endi was deposed on August 22, 1703, and Faizullah Effendi was assassinated. Mustafa's brother, Ahmed III, then seized the Ottoman throne and was immediately faced with the challenge of subduing the rebellious troops. Constantinople remained in a state of unrest until Ahmed III appointed a new Grand Vizier, Ali Pasha, who restored some order. Once Sultan Ahmed III could focus on foreign affairs, he sought to improve Ottoman relations with England and France while also forming an alliance with Charles XII of Sweden. After the Swedish king's defeat by Peter the Great of Russia at the Battle of Poltava in 1709, Charles sought refuge in the Ottoman court. Charles successfully convinced Sultan Ahmed to declare war on Russia in 1710, despite the earlier Treaty of Constantinople, which had promised 30 years of peace. The Ottoman Grand Vizier, Baltachi Memd Pasha, led the Ottoman forces to a decisive victory, surrounding Peter the Great's men at the Prut River. The Russians were forced to relinquish Azov, destroy the fortress of Taganrog and other Azovian forts, and agree to refrain from interfering in Polish and Cossack affairs. With Russia temporarily subdued, Ahmed turned his attention to Venice, declaring war on the Republic in December 1714. The Ottomans used a coordinated naval and army effort to seize the Moor at Peloponnese the following year. The news of the Ottoman victory reached Austria, prompting Emperor Charles VI to intervene, which led to the Austro-Turkish War of 1716-1718. Austrian forces under Prince Eugene of Savoy achieved significant success against the Ottomans. The war began to disrupt Dutch and British Mediterranean trade, leading Great Britain and the Netherlands to urge the Ottomans, Venetians, and Austrians to sign the Treaty of Passarowitz in 1718. While the Ottomans secured their hold on Mora, the treaty forced them to cede Belgrade, Little Wallachia, and parts of Banat to Austria, frustrating Sultan Ahmed's ambitions for westward expansion. A few years later, in June 1724, the Treaty of Constantinople was concluded between the Ottoman Empire and Russia intending to partition their shared neighbor, Safavid Iran. However, the Ottomans were effectively chased out of the region by 1730. This failure, coupled with widespread dissatisfaction over Sultan Ahmed's excessive indulgence and lavish lifestyle during a time of economic hardship, sparked another Janissary mutiny, led by Petrona Halil. Sultan Ahmed III was deposed in 1730, 
and his nephew, Mahmud I, ascended the throne. Mahmud's first priority was to calm the unrest in his empire following his uncle's overthrow. After roughly a year, Sultan Mahmud ended the rebellion by executing Petrona Halil and a large portion of his supporters. During his reign, Mahmud found himself entangled in a series of on and off wars with Persia, which brought no definitive conclusions. At the same time, Europe continued to be a source of tension for the empire. In 1735, a new Russo-Turkish war began after Russia signed the Treaty of Ganja with Iran, forming an alliance against the Ottomans. The Russians then turned their attention to Crimea, repeatedly besieging the peninsula, burning palaces and fortifications as they advanced. They eventually captured the Ottoman fortress at Azov. Although the Russians pursued aggressive objectives, all sides of the conflict were subdued by a devastating plague outbreak from 1737 to 1739. Nevertheless, Austria attempted to join the war against the Ottomans in 1737, but suffered repeated defeats at the hands of Ottoman forces. Austria eventually lost Belgrade after an Ottoman incursion in the late summer of 1739. All three empires attempted to negotiate during the war, but no progress was made diplomatically. Russia continued to drive deeper into Ottoman territory, despite Austria's waning interest in the conflict. Finally, in 1739, the Treaty of Belgrade was signed, ending the Austro-Turkish War and returning the Kingdom of Serbia, parts of Banat, and Oltenia to the Ottoman vassal of Wallachia. Russia was forced to sign the Treaty of Nice roughly a month later, which ended their war with the Ottomans while allowing them to retain control of Azov. The Ottoman Empire's military setbacks during this period were not solely the result of contemporary issues, but were rooted in long-standing challenges. The decline in scientific advancements and the economic shift caused by new trade routes established by European powers had already weakened the empire. This lack of investment in military technology and infrastructure contributed significantly to the internal revolts and external defeats that plagued the empire throughout the 18th century. Six years after making peace with his European adversaries, Sultan Mahmud I died of natural causes and his cousin, Osman III, took the throne. Osman, the son of Mustafa II, had spent 51 years in captivity following his father's deposition, which likely contributed to the behavioral issues he exhibited as Sultan. Osman's reign was marked by unusual decisions, such as banning all music and musicians from his palace. However, one of his more significant actions was the 1757 Furman that preserved the division of responsibilities for various holy sites in the Holy Land among Christians, Jews, and Muslims. Osman III passed away on October 30, 1757, and the Ottoman throne passed to Mustafa III. Determined to bring stability to the empire, Mustafa focused on internal reforms, addressing issues with coinage, aqueducts, and other infrastructure. He also traveled extensively throughout the empire to ensure that his laws were being enforced. Externally, Mustafa III was determined to maintain peace with Europe, despite pressure from Frederick the Great of Prussia to become more involved in European affairs. The Ottomans worked hard to remain neutral until war with Russia became inevitable once again. Russia's overbearing attitude toward Poland and Crimea became too much for the Ottomans, leading to yet another Russo-Turkish war in 1768. This conflict was an embarrassing defeat for the Ottoman Empire, culminating in the Treaty of Kukyuk Kainarka in 1774. The treaty forced the Ottomans to cede territory, pay reparations, and recognize Russia as the protector of Orthodox Christians in the Ottoman vassal states of Wallachia and Moldavia. Although the treaty was signed in July 1774, Sultan Mustafa III had actually died of a heart attack in January 1774, leaving the resolution of the war to his successor, Abdul Hamid I. Sultan Abdul Hamid prioritized reforming the Janissary Corps and other Ottoman armed forces, establishing the Imperial Naval Engineering School. He also focused on strengthening Ottoman control over Syria, Egypt, and Iraq. Despite Abdul Hamid's desire to avoid further conflict with Russia, the two empires were drawn into war again in 1787, after Russia repeatedly abused its position as the protector of Orthodox Christians. The Ottomans initially held their ground but struggled as Austria joined the war on Russia's side. The prolonged conflict took a toll on Sultan Abdul Hamid, who is said to have been morally defeated by the ongoing war. He passed away in April 1789. Succeeding Abdul Hamid was Selim III, who inherited both the throne and the ongoing war with Russia. Shortly into his reign, Selim was forced to agree to peace, accepting Russia's success in the conflict. Once the war was settled, Selim focused on internal reforms, setting up a committee of reformers and implementing changes in taxation, land tenure, and provincial governance. 
He also continued the military reforms of his predecessor and opened Ottoman embassies throughout European capitals to improve relations with the West. To round out the century, the Ottoman Empire faced an unexpected twist as Napoleon invaded Egypt in 1798. Sultan Selim was forced to declare war on France and unexpectedly formed an alliance with Great Britain and Russia. This new conflict marked the beginning of yet another era of change and challenge for the Ottoman Empire. In the next episodes, we will cover the following chapters in the history of the Ottoman Empire. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to be notified when a new video is uploaded. See you next time.